Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. So for the past couple of weeks, especially on Wednesdays, we've been having an SBC pack that has given us a chance at packing footies cards. But always there's some other cards included, like Team of the Tournaments. Well, that's changing today. We have packs added to the code that are truly guaranteed footies only cards in them. And I think one's going to be coming as an SBC today. But we need to talk about it because there's two packs added to the code. And one of which entails maybe a change to weekend league rewards. That could be big. And this is big right here. EA released an icon pick yesterday that is unlimited repeatable. But it's not the one that we thought we were going to get. And that's a whole different conversation that we need to have today on this game. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over that content from yesterday and get through kind of the boring stuff and get to the good stuff. The boring stuff, another player SPC, another striker, another 96 rated footies, Fernando Morientes hero card this time. Man, I say boring. It's not boring. It's decent if you're a fan of Spanish football, if you're a La Liga fan, if you're a Fernando Morientes fan and this card is nostalgia for you. Five star, five star, power shot, finesse aerial and first touch not a terrible card just yet again another striker man like count the strikers that we have had or the attacking players that we have had inside of footies it is crazy sure this SBC is an 86 and 87 rated squad making it only 73,000 coins to do but it just lacks a little bit of creativity it feels like it's another striker card can we have some defenders like I mean yeah sure we've had Carvalho which was actually pretty decent we've had a couple of other ones here and there but it just feels like we are getting so many attackers we could use some defenders a right back a left back a center back at this point even if it's going to be a cheaper SBC like this we've had so many attackers but that was our plan later SBC yesterday. If it interests you, go ahead and get it done. He's a decent card, but not too much else to say there. Now, in the SBCs, we of course had our weekly refresh on a Tuesday of a 94 plus player pick. These come out every single Tuesday, and as we expected, EA just added Team 4 of the footies team to this player pick. It's the exact same pick with Team 4 added, but what did change was we can do it two times per release, and of course, these are now refreshing. Instead of just being able to do it one time a week, we can now do it twice, and it's going to refresh again in a couple of days on Friday. We'll be able to do the 94 plus pick again two more times. Now, for this one, it's still the 89 and the 90 rated squad, but of of course, it has the high 94 plus rating minimum on it. These are still worth crafting and worth doing with, of course, the exchange grind with the 82 plus picks, 85 tens and 84 times tens. But I don't think we saw too many insane things from these. But of course, it is an SBC always worth crafting. Nothing insane for me, at least yesterday from these picks. Now, the biggest thing from yesterday's content, guys, was this one. The unlimited repeatable icon picks are back but it's not the one that ea said they were going to bring back well ea never really said they were going to bring it back but it's not the same icon pick that went away on sunday because on sunday we had a one of three 91 plus footies icon player pick that was 287 rated squads and well the sbc that they brought back was a 90 plus pick so they went down one on the rating but they added a slot so instead of it being a one of three it is now a one of four and instead of an 87 rated squad it's an 87 and an 88 so slightly annoying that it's a bit more expensive but I don't know I think I'd rather have that fourth slot than having the 91 plus and only three slots we, we see it a lot right when the SBCs add that extra slot it does make them a lot better. But my question is, why did EA have to put this SBC out and not put the 91 plus back out? Was it so messed up or was the pack weight messed up so much on this one that was giving out the guaranteed salvas that was a glitch right when it was released on Sunday? Did they not have the ability to fix it? So they had to release this 90 plus instead. I'm actually really, really confused. And with this 90 plus being out, where's the 93 plus? Because it kind of seemed like we would maybe get both back whenever this was going to be fixed. There must have been some problems with that SBC, uh, but I'll say this, regardless, at least EA released something pretty quick, right? From Sunday to Tuesday, that's only a couple of days time. Now we do have an unlimited repeatable icon player pick, which is really nice. I was crafting these and grinding these. I think these are more
more fun to do personally than the 92 plus PTG, make your mark, whatever. I think the icon picks are more fun to do than these. Now they're almost the same price, right? You have an 87 and an 88. The only difference is you need a team of the season for the 90 plus icon pick. I really, really enjoy these. You can even get some of the older icons that fit into Evos that look really cracked, like Ultimate Birthday Hullet. That's one kind of crazy example. But we did pack some really good cards yesterday from these 90 plus picks. If you want to check it out, it's on the second channel. I'll link that above. But, you know, I, I'm not mad about this at all. Like, honestly, I'm so confused as to why it's not the 91 plus. What happened here at Content Drop? We were all like, is EA scamming us? But honestly, it just feels like EA didn't have the facilities or know how to, I guess, to figure the figure out to fix these player picks in an, enough time to get us an icon pick. So they went the route of just releasing a totally different one. That's my guess in the situation. And I'm honestly glad that they handled it this way because if they would have tried to fix the other player picks, then maybe it would have taken four or five days, maybe a week before we had something. And I'm glad that we had this one here. So it's always nice to have an unlimited repeatable icon pick. This is the first one of the year and it is fun to grind. So I'm going to be hitting these more today. It's so worth it to craft these with the 84 tens, 85 tens, and the unlimited 82 plus picks, of course, with the exchange grind. It is something really, really fun to be crafting. So we do like that. I would say the weight on them also is good. It's not amazing, but it's worth going after if you're chasing one of the top tier icons especially from grades of the game. The grades of the game icons are very common from this, which is really, really good for packing some of those top tier players, or at least feeling like you have a chance at some of those. Now with an SBC like that, did fodder move? Team of the seasons barely moved, guys. They went from like 15K up to like 16 to 17,000 coins. Dewsbury Hall, who we check all the time, he's like 17K, but I think if you take a look at the actual cheapest TOTS cards on the market, they are still down in like the 13 to 14K range. Yeah, 14K for TOTS cards. Bidding on these and lazy listing is the easiest coins you can make right now. I know it's not the same as investing in TOTS cards as of weeks past, but if you can get these cards on bid for 11 to 12,000 coins, preferably closer to 11k list them up from 17 to 20,000 coins around the content drop you will get sales as people are buying these cards for SBCs still in this stage of the game even though they're very very packable that is one thing I did want to mention because that's kind of like an easy coin method that you can do right now at the moment the other parts of the fodder market I think 88s maybe moved just a little bit yesterday but not a whole lot and honestly it's probably not worth trading with really anything else at the moment besides team of the seasons if you're going to go for a fodder trading sort of situation. Now, the last thing from yesterday's content that was dropped, if we move on from SBCs and move into evolutions, was the Footies Founders Evo. And guys, this evolution, actually, a lot of people were confused. You can only claim it on console. It'll show up in your unassigned if you're an FC founder. That means if you got the game early and pre-ordered FC24 all the way back at the beginning of the year. Now, this evolution isn't that big of an upgrade. It's a plus one stat boost across the whole entire card, and it gives you press proven playstyle, which is actually kind of interesting. Also gives a chemistry boost as well with the footies premium chemistry design here. The I think I like about this is though, you can Evo a lot of cards, 95 rated max rating with 98 pace shooting and physical and nine playstyles. So a lot of different cards from the club that I'm able to Evo. This is Zanetti's in my team. Do I really want to add press proven to him? Not really because he already has it. That's kind of the thing here. Find a player who you want to put into your team who doesn't have press proven already already, which is actually a very good play style to have. Not play style plus, by the way, it only gives press proven play style, but this might be the best founders Evo besides the one that we had at the very beginning of the year, because you can put just about anything into it. So that's kind of a decent Evo yesterday. Not too much to say about that, except it is easy, less, very few games, like only two games or one game, whatever it is. So we do love that one. The last thing I want to mention is EA posted more about Hazard and the heroes coming to FC 25 and if you missed it We did an additional upload yesterday I'll post that up right here as well where we talked about this stuff and really we dove into the specifics of what EA said without actually saying it and some of the things that I saw from the hero announcement yesterday and two days ago that really makes me think of what's going to be happening in the hero situation and how things are changing in FC 25, especially with the ratings, kind of the origin and the prime hero. So make sure you check that video out. I think there's some really good information in there to get us ready for how heroes might be looking different in FC 25.
five. So that was yesterday's content. Let's just move right into today's content. On a Wednesday, guys, some of this actually happened yesterday. We're talking about the guaranteed footies packs. I think a lot of people have been wanting a chance at packing footies, right? Because let's be honest, the pack weight for these promo cards, especially for the top tier, has been abysmal. Salah, Alex Morgan, you go back to a couple weeks ago, you had the 99 Cristiano Ronaldo, the 99 Neymar, not even 98 like Usman Dembele, and, and 99 Sam Kerr, 98 Rio Ferdinand. We would all love chances to pack these cards once again from footies because apart from the fodder, they've been very difficult to pack. Well, we're going to get another chance, guys. This was the pack code that was added yesterday. Footies team one through four guaranteed pack excluding icons that's the only caveat for this pack specifically is that it excludes the icons in this one but guys i think this sbc is actually dropping today i think this is finally going to replace the sbc that we've had for weeks and if it's not replacing the sbc i hope it comes out separately alongside of the sbc that we've been having for weeks on wednesdays which is the team of the tournament footies team one two or three upgrade it's time to take those team of the tournaments out of there give us the footies team one two or three upgrade which is what this pack code is guys i think this is coming today because it would just make sense in line with things and of course you got some big boy cards you could pack from this right ronaldo neymar salah hansen morgan and from pong but let's be completely honest who are we most often going to be packing in this sbc pack even though we'll all be doing it probably the casemiros the colairs the goodses maybe you get lucky and get yourself malasia 96 rated like that's probably who you're going to be getting because once again this is a pack not even a player pick it should be pretty easy to complete and something that would be worth doing because this honestly might be your best chance at a 99 rated footies card even though it's going to be really tough to pack one you think about the footies player pool of all the cards that have been in packs especially when you think about the icons being taken out of it it's not a very big pool of players yeah sure like i said you do have a lot of 95s and a lot of 96s for fodder in there but you could get lucky and even hit somebody like goretzka or puteas today who would be a solid pull maybe 11 Lewandowski, who's still 500,000 coins, or a Trinity Rodman, who's 650k. So this is a pack that will be worth doing 100% today. If I had to guess at how much it would cost, how much is this one right here? The other one is an 85 and an 86 rated squad, but there's a lot of fodder team in tournaments. I could see EA increasing the value of this today, maybe to be like an 87 and an 88 rated squad, just because it only has the footies in it. They're the most recent promo team players, but I really think that's going to be at least one of our upgrade packs today. I wouldn't mind if this one came back as well, because the team in tournaments in here are kind of fun to chase after as well. So that's the upgrade pack that we're looking forward to today. Of course, most everything right now, if you guys are grinding in the menus, is basically free to get done. So this will really, though, give us our best chance at packing a real footies card. And there's at least a little bit of excitement in that. Again, just don't expect to pack icons because they're not a part of that pack. Now, the other pack that was added to the code does include icons guys it's this one this was actually the first pack that was added before the team one through four footies guarantee a 95 plus times three any footies player pack now this one says contains three players rated 95 or higher from any of the footies teams all items and tradable it does not signify teams one through four because we're expecting yet again another team of footies cards in packs this friday by the way which is going to make things really interesting but this includes icons too, heroes, icons, and all of the regular premium and regular footies cards. So this to me seems almost a little bit too good to be true for it to be an SBC. But one thing that's kind of hidden with this is you think, wow, 95 plus, that's a lot of rating. Well, if you take a look through it, all the footies teams, there's not a footies card that is below 95 rated. If I'm doing my math correctly, they're all 95 and up. So it's not even really a, a rating minimum that needs to be in the pack code. It could just say any footies times three player pack. And it would also be the exact same thing because all footies are 95 and above. I think the 95 plus is just a little bit there for show to be completely honest and make it seem a little bit more insane. But this is a pretty crazy pack. Three footies cards, one pack, again, including the icons, but that seems too good to be an SBC in my opinion, right? We haven't had an SBC that crazy. I think this is either a store pack guys or one of the better shouts that we actually have for this is weekend league rewards because you think about it we always get a weekend league reward pack oh i have an 85 times 10 let's rip this real quick we always have a weekend league reward pack that gives us a times three 
kind of player pack, right? Right now we have like Make Your Marks and PTGs and Team of Tournaments as a part of that. As we're packing a footies here, Onabatie. That's actually a solid pull from an 85 times 10 along with Wesley Schneider. But we have those Weekend League reward packs along with some good fodder inside of this one here. That's decent for a free 85 10 from Objectives, level 33. We have some Weekend League Rewards packs that give us the guaranteed promo cards, right? That's something that is always a part of Weekend League Rewards. And with the season ending, not this week, but next week, which is the, which means also that we have like one week to get our XP that we need if you're still trying to get to level 40 and get to Holland, this might be an SBC, or I'm sorry, it might be a Weekend League Reward pack that is added in with the next season because by then as well, all of the teams of footies would be out. If there is a footies team five this Friday, it would be included in this. And by then EA would not have to signify between teams one through four, like they are with this pack here. So that's just my take. It could also be in the store and it'd be like, you know, a couple hundred thousand coins. It'd be a scam pack probably, but a lot of people would want to do it just because it's guaranteed for these cards and these footies have been so hard to pack. So that's just my thought. Let me know down in the comments what you think that it's going to be. If that would be an SBC, I, I think that would be too good. Like that'd be a really expensive SBC. I'd love it if it was. I just think that's too good to be true for it to actually be an SBC. So let me know in the comments what you think that's going to be, but we will be there for that pack. If and when it drops somewhere in this game, we will try to get that one done because it at least seems like a fun opportunity to try to pack real footies cards, as does the other SBC that should be coming out today. Now, today on Wednesday, what else are we going to get? Well, man, remember when Wednesdays used to be Team of the Weeks? Well, Team of the Weeks were really irrelevant this year. I don't know why I just thought about that. Wednesday, Team of the Weeks. Anyways, today we should be getting a new player objective, the banter player objectives, as we've been calling them. We had Hamilton the first week. We've had Stoppa. I'm forgetting somebody else that we've had here as well. We're probably going to get another player SBC today, a player objective, I mean. And these have been giving out XP, so it might be a little bit of like 500 XP or 1,000 XP inside of this today, but I would expect another player objective in here. I I know some of you guys probably already have the daily play completion is done. I know a lot of people are getting this 98 Gioro right now, but make sure you're getting this done. This one, you still have a couple of days on. I'm a little bit behind on it, but you might see this card on the top of Footbin in the popular page, and that's just because people are claiming this Gioro card. They're getting to the five completions, and they're getting this item done. That's one thing that's kind of happening today on the game as well, and that's kind of it for objectives. Probably a new objective player. The Silver Cup is still here for a couple of days with the Korea there. And then, of course, we're expecting a player SBC, right? So kind of all of that on top of what we're expecting with the guaranteed footies packs. The 90-plus team of the year for birthday, Golazo, great to the game. Footies player pick unlimited, still here to grind. Our daily refresh, of course, of all of the 85 tens, 84 tens, 86 plus player pick, which I actually haven't even done yet. And still the grind and the craft if you're hitting these SBCs or if you're crafting any of the icons at the moment, like maybe it's Bajo for a quick craft. Maybe you're working on Mia Ham or Ginola or Atto. So there's still that craft that is going on today as well. I don't expect it to be really that busy of a day, to be honest. I don't even expect there to be a new evolution. Wednesdays have not been that crazy of days, but it is Weekend League Rewards Day and there will be some people opening those cards there. Maybe we'll just have to check weekly rewards in game today, just in case EA do update them for the 95 plus times three footies cards. If that's to come out early, usually they don't change weekend league rewards though, unless it is a new season that is starting. So quick little pack here, 83 double daily login, nothing good coming from that. One thing I did want to show you guys actually though, yesterday was kind of a historic day. Nobody cares really because it's so late in the game. But yesterday's Evo, the founder, the footies founders Evo was literally the first time that gold Mbappe has fit into an evolution all year long. And at the same time, like player of the month, rule breakers and inform Mbappe all fit that evolution as well, since they are below 95 rated, which is the requirement for that Evo. So kind of crazy that it took until August for Gold Mbappe to finally fit an Evo. And to be honest, you still can't even get the Real Madrid Gold Mbappe version because he has not been in packs yet after he's been added to the game. Only the team in the tournament has still been in packs. So that's the video for today, guys, on a Wednesday. I'm going to keep grinding, of course, the 90 plus icon picks, the 92 plus picks today, and we will see how our guaranteed footies luck turns out today. We'll be opening those on stream. If you want to check us out, that link is down below in the description. Make sure you check out the second channel and the earlier upvote on the main channel from yesterday around footies 
FC25, sorry, not footies, FC25 heroes. So that's for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the Cannon. Peace.